give a pretty brown girl her space You can keep your winner I'ma make a better way Hey, hey, better way What's up you guys? So today I'm gonna show you how I got this makeup look using all my favorite products. This is my updated makeup routine, so let's get to it. Okay, you guys, so I usually start off with a fresh face, of course. I wash my face every single night. Make sure you are washing your face every single night. Washing your makeup off with a makeup wipe does not count as washing your face, okay? So I already moisturized my face, my Nivea lotion. I have to use this or else I'm gonna break out. If you have dry skin, make sure you are trying this out. I have these in every single bathroom in my house and I did my brows off camera. They take the longest, like it takes so long. So I have this towel on my head. We're drying our hair. First things first, I always make sure I wet my beauty blender and this is by the beauty blender brand. But if you want something that's alike and a little cheaper, make sure you invest in the e.l.f. What is this? Camel Concealer Sponge. It is almost the same texture as the beauty blender and it's way cheaper because i'm a dry skin girl i have to prime my face with serum okay i don't prime my face with like you know the hydro grips and all of that stuff because i don't need my makeup clinging onto my skin more than it already does we need all the serum we could get so i use the garnier what is this Garnier Greens Lab, Green Labs? Green Lab Brightening Serum. I'm also gonna list everything that I use down below, so make sure you guys are checking the description box. I'm gonna list it with the product link. Um, But this is the Brightening Serum. I love this because it really does hydrate. I could wear this even when I'm not wearing makeup. If you have dark spots or like blemishes on your face that you're trying to get rid of, SPF, here is the dark spots. So I usually like to take a little bit on my hand, rub it together and just apply. Like it gives you such a nice glow, like look at that. Like you can literally wear this without any makeup and your skin will look flawless. So first things first, we're gonna go in with foundation. This is just what I would do every single day. Um, I'm gonna go in with one of my new fave foundations. This is the Makeup Lab Mario foundation. Oh my God, this foundation is truly one of a kind. Mario did something. He did a thing. I am in the color 18W. I don't know if I will ever love another foundation like this one. So I like to just put a little here, a little there, and a little there, okay? I don't use a lot and I just kind of spread it out on my cheeks and just all over my face so that it can get blended in. Whatever's left over on a beauty blender, I'll just use on my forehead. And then I'm gonna take the bottom of my beauty blender. Mind you, this is wet, so make sure you're always wet in your beauty blender. I remember you guys were not wet in your beauty blenders and this was like a thing. I go in and Literally, look at that. Do you see that? And it still looks like skin. I absolutely love this foundation. This foundation is like literally one of a kind. I hope he never discontinues this one because there is nothing on the market like this one. And it just looks like skin. Like you can honestly just wear this outside if you wanna just look normal and natural. So the concealer that I'm gonna use to conceal and highlight is the Tarte Shape Tape. I always end up coming back to Tarte Shape Tape, but the Shape Tape is definitely a staple in the makeup community. And I am in the color 425 tan sand so I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes actually it's not a little bit it's a lot of it I'm gonna really conceal okay a little bit on my chin cupid's bow and my nose first I like to make sure that this sits for a while because sometimes when it sits and it gets kind of set in place it becomes more high coverage it just conceals a little bit better rather than take going right in with the wet beauty blender and picking up the product and taking it off of your skin so I'm just gonna let this dry for a little bit a lot of people like to use like the handheld fans but I don't like fans in my face so I'm not doing that so the concealer has definitely dried a bit I actually think I'm gonna take this this is just like my makeup headband. So I'm gonna take the pointy part of my beauty blender. I'm gonna take the pointy part of my beauty blender and I'm gonna start from my face at the bottom. Uh, so I'm gonna blend out my chin, my cupid's bow, and then my eyes, and then my nose. So as you can see, after I let it sit, it is kind of hard to blend out. 
but that's what I love. I love it because that means it's super high coverage and it's going to stay all day. So when I blend out under my eyes, I always start at the edges and work my way all the way up into the creases. And you want to be really gentle when you want to be really gentle when you're blending your concealer out because you don't want to go too hard where you're picking up the product on the beauty blender and it's coming off of your face. Like that. And if you ever need to blend any more, you can always go back in with the bottom of the beauty blender where the foundation was and blend those edges and that foundation together so it's really seamless. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other eye. Look at that. Make sure you get in the creases of the nose because having a creasy, cracky nose is not cute. And then we're gonna blend out the bridge of the nose. So I usually do the bridge of the nose because I like for this half of my face to all blend together. I do not like when my nose is a different color and under my eyes is a different color. I don't like that personally. It's really up to you what you like, but personally me, I don't like it for my face. So here we are, flawless and blended. As of recently, I have been using the Chanel contour and it is the Chanel Less Beige. I believe that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. But I know I like it. <laughs> oh, okay, so the color is 394 Soleil Tan Deep Bronze. And this is what it looks like inside. And oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite, favorite bronzers ever that I've ever used in my life. And I say that because it's a bronzer, so it does exactly what it needs to do. And I realized that I really like bronzing more than I like contouring. Contouring is to give your face a cut, a shape, if you wanna contour your chin and make it a little more sharper, like that's contour. Bronzing is like to give you that like Miami glow, okay? You get bronze. I use the bronzer as a contour, but overall, I like bronzing. Um, so this is what I've been using, the Chanel bronzer. And honestly, it smells really good, really, really good. Honestly, it kind of worries me that it smells so good because it's like, is this even good for your face? Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is a NARS brush. They never like put what kind of brush it is anymore. Like on brushes, they don't tell you what kind of brush it is. This is the 0342AC brush. Who about to do all of that? Like who about to type all of that in? Um, anyway, yeah, that's the brush. I really do like this brush though. So that's why I told you guys because I really do like this brush for bronzing because it just it's just easy. I literally just tap a little bit. As you can see, this product goes a long way. I've had this for about two months now and it's amazing. And I'm literally just gonna start applying. Do you see that? Like it gives that glow. Here it just looks like flat, glow. Flat, glow. Flat, glow. Flat, glow. Like it does a thing or two, okay? Oh my God, it looks so amazing. So now we have a couple more steps to go, okay, before we set everything in place. This is optional. I like to do this when I'm being super dramatic, which I'm gonna do today. I don't have to do this, but this is super, super, super optional. I like to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is the yellow concealer. It's light yellow corrector. It's actually a corrector. You can use this as a highlighter. Don't use this as a concealer because it's not gonna conceal anything unless it's your skin color. But if you're my skin color, use this as an on top highlighter. I take a little tiny bit of this and put it like literally right there. Literally the tiniest bit. And then I like to blend it out so that this inner corner is super bright and then it kind of fades out. Like So I'll take the beauty blender, lightly tap, like literally the lightest amount. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna do it on this side. So now, what I would usually do is use some cream blush. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm, and this is in the color Pinkgasm. I'm honestly just gonna apply like that much, 
So this has highlighter in it. So sometimes I like to use it, sometimes I don't. It really depends on my mood. So I'm gonna go in with just a fluffy brush like this. I'm literally just gonna like blend this out. Oh, isn't that freaking beautiful? Like, oh my God. Like, it just looks so good. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is in Translucent Honey, and it has a yellow tint to it. As you guys know, I love this one. This is my favorite. I actually used to use the regular Translucent until they came out with Translucent Honey, and I was like, oh no, honey, like, I need that. I need that now. Today, I'm gonna use this Powder Puff Sponge. I absolutely love this because it has a point. I can also use my Beauty Blender, but I wanna use this because I've been liking the way that this sets my makeup it just like makes it super smooth so I'm gonna make sure everything is still blended and I'm gonna go in the powder and I usually blow some off because I don't want to get cakey so I like to have like a nice little layer okay so now I'm gonna all I'm always start under my eyes always that's the first place I always powder because that's the most important to me so I'm gonna go in put my head down and literally start at the inner corners and work my way out and work my way back in And I'm literally just gonna blend it in. Like I'm just gonna keep pouncing it and blending it in. I'm not gonna let it bake. I just blend it in like that. We're all set on this side. I don't have to go back in with any other powder or anything like that. I'm literally blending it in. You wanna keep blending it in until you're satisfied. Just like that, honestly. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then the next place that I go is my chin because I always wanna make sure I balance my face out. So my chin is the next important place. If this is set and this is a different, a certain color, I wanna make sure that the bottom is set because then it's gonna balance out my face. And then I'm gonna go around my mouth. And use the tiniest bit to just set this area and make it matte. Now, if I was to ever do any more, I'd look crazy. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. I'm just gonna go in and set my contour. I'm gonna be using the Hula Caramel Bronzer by Benefit. Literally like, I literally hit pan and now I'm like at a point where I gotta use a brush to get around. I just need to get a new one, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this brush. It's just a powder brush. It doesn't really matter what brush you use. And I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm not gonna swipe because swiping is gonna take the product off and make it really blotchy. So I'm gonna tap on top. Tapping creates like a really flawless blown out effect. And that's exactly what we want. We want really flawless and blown out. So now all of that is set. And so now we're gonna go in with some blush. We're gonna also set our blush. Always go back to these NYX blushes. These are the ombre blush. I'm not even sure if these are even in stock anymore because I've been using this for years and it, as you can see, it doesn't even look like it. Like I've been using it for so long. I've had these for years. It's kind of bad, right? And this is in a color, this is in a color Fill the Heat. It's orange. And that's one thing, I really have been loving orange blush. I'm really not into like the pink blushes right now. I'm into like the orangeys and the natural ones. And I'm gonna use the Makeup by Mario. This is the F2 brush. And I'm just gonna tap that on top of my cheeks. Like that. Oh my gosh. So now, <laughs> you see how like pigmented that blush is? I'm gonna contour my nose. I just used the same bronzer 
as my honestly I just I just bring back the definition and the bone structure so you can see it if I don't do it my face will look so flat I just keep the same nose <laughs> You can really change your nose shape with nose contour. It's crazy. I think I'm gonna just do some mascara today. This is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. So the lashes that I've been using are these Kiss lashes. This is in the style one, zero one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have the best lash tutorial on YouTube, okay? I'm gonna link it down below, but I have really almond eyes. So it goes in, it has a high point, and then it goes back down. So I like to make my eyes a little more diamond shaped. And instead of following my lash line and going back down, I just bring it up on my eyelid. So as you see, there is a space there. That's because that's where my eyelash will go. It would literally go like down. With that being said, we are gonna go in with eyeliner and we're just gonna go in with eyeliner to fill in this blank spot that I created. And then you're just gonna connect it like that. So that blank spot, we're gonna use eyeliner. Like you literally just wanna get in there and fill it in, literally. Just like that. My eyes are lifted. So now we're gonna go on to, I guess, lips because we're literally almost done. I'm gonna go into my lip liner bag. My lip products always stay the same color, but the products always change. One of my new favorite products is the Dragon Beauty Lip Liner. This is in the color Lip Job. Okay, so that's my top lip. So now I'm gonna go in with a new fave that I'm really shocked that I've had it for a minute and I didn't use it. This is a Wet n Wild lipstick and this is in the color A Short Affair 501C. So as of lately, this is the lipstick that has been my favorite. It has a really nice sheen to it, so if I wanted to just leave it like this, I really could. I'm gonna go in with Chestnut from MAC. Okay, see, my lips look a little more defined than they did before. This is one of my favorite glosses. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. Lip Plump Gloss. So this is a lip plumper. So when you put it on, it's going to burn. But I promise you, it is going to be so pretty, okay? So I'm going to put a little bit on top. Mm -hmm. You see that color? It comes out that color. I know a lot of people like to use setting spray, but I personally don't. Um, but this is basically my full face updated makeup routine. I'm absolutely in love with this routine. Like, and it feels very luxury, even though some of the stuff is super affordable, like the Wet n Wild lipstick or the Garnier primer. Like, so yes, this is my full makeup routine, my updated makeup routine for 2023. These earrings are from my jewelry brand, Karen and Rita. These are called the It Girl earrings, and these are one of the faves, okay? The girls love these earrings. They are always sold out, so if you guys get your hands on some, good luck. Um, I always make sure I have them in stock, though, so if you want to check out my jewelry line, you can check the link below. My website is going to be in my description box. I miss and love my army so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Pretty brown girl, her space. You can keep your bitter. I'ma make a better way. Hey, hey, nigga, catch a break. Better way. Oh, hey.